What is up, Latin Proud Crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Let's get into this video now. Of course, we're gonna go over some things on what happened with Big Red in a little bit more detail and kind of clear up some things. 98% of the comments, by the way, for the record on the previous video, we're good. You know, everybody was pretty much, hey dude, just glad you're all right. It's just a fender, no big deal. You know, just all that stuff, right? Which is what I was, you know, expecting and hoping for in terms of feedback. There's the fender. I got it off. This piece is actually uh, completely broken off, but uh, that's all off and you can see the damage. It's pretty rough. In terms of the moldings, we've got some from the other truck sitting around that we can piece back on because for this truck, I did want to keep them on there. Um, so anyways, pretty much what happened was the fender you know, it just got destroyed. And if you're stopping in for the first time, let me kind of show you what happened here. So what we're thinking now, and um, this is where we're going to touch on some of the comments. Um, for the record, okay, when I said, oh, these tires, you know, freaking junk tires are probably dry rotted. When you look at these tires, you would not see anywhere. They look like brand new tires. There's not a single crack in the tire. The tread looks brand new. Okay, look really close. I'm letting you guys look really close. There's nowhere on these tires that you could think they were dry rotted. And so now we go from that to, you know, to knowing um, that it wasn't dry rot, okay? Looking closer, how, if you look how it just breaks perfectly, you seam all the way around the inner part of the tire. Um, it appears more and more so that, this is actually the outside, sorry. Um, these tires were retreads, okay? And do I know that 100%? No. But everybody that I've talked to and that said anything about it, and our neighbor Andy, who's a truck driver, and he deals with retreads on their trailers, he said, these tires, if they are, re he said, I've only seen that ever happen on a retread. He said, ordinary passenger vehicles, you know, you know consumer vehicles shouldn't have retreads on them. And more especially, they shouldn't have them on the front. He said that's highly illegal, especially for truck drivers. He's like, that is very illegal because something like that could happen and you could lose steering and all that stuff. You know, in the back it would suck too, but you know, if something happens in the rear, you still have your steering up front. So it's a little bit safer, even though it's not safe, you know, like generally speaking, um, but it's definitely a no-go for the front. So, um, I mean, it's just, it sucks uh, that that happened, that had to happen. Um, but it did. There's nothing we can do about it. And on that video, I thought I handled it very well because, you know, some people just get furious and just, oh, I'm so ticked to happen. Oh my gosh, why'd that have, have to happen to me? And, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just like getting mad. Obviously, I'm only 18, so I've still got a lot of life to live. Hopefully, you know, Lord willing. But I'm already getting to a point where certain things, certain there's certain things that really bother me, but certain things you just have to, you know, you just have to go, you know what? I'm still here. It's just a fender, it's okay. And I think some people are taking it as, oh, he's just like, oh, it's just a fender. Like, dude, that was a great truck. What do you mean it's just a fender and it's just money? You just have too much money or you just don't care about the truck? No, I do care about the truck. And no, I don't like just dumping money on stuff like this. But things could have always been worse. You know what I mean? Things could have always been worse. And I'm thankful that that's all that happened and I didn't, you know, lose steering and it, the highway was busy or something and then, I get crushed by a semi and T-bone and I'm dead or something like I'm I'm happy with a fender damage over something really catastrophic or something really really bad you know I had my little cousin in the you know truck who's 12 years old and if something would have happened to him I would have felt absolutely awful you know what I'm saying so I'm happy things went the way that they did compared to what it could have been that's that's all I was saying not like oh I've got you know I can it doesn't matter it's just a bill or it's just a truck I don't really care about it I do care about it it's just things could have gone worse. So that's all I meant by that, my genuine reaction to the situation. It's like, it could have been worse. There's no sense in being like, you know, furious over something that you had no control of. The rest of the truck's totally fine. Tire didn't like wreck anything or anything like that. And everything looks pretty good to go. We should be able to just get the new fender on. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I actually already ordered it, but I ordered a OEM fit replacement fender. And all we're gonna do is take it to a paint and body shop, have them. I'm actually gonna give them this one or at least a piece of it. Um, I'll just take it with me and then I'll give it to him and just be like, I want this matched to whatever this paint is, whatever the coat is, whatever the stage of paint is, I don't know. Uh, but I want it matched so that it's going to be perfect to the truck. To say like it could have been avoided is kind of like, I think, overstepping quite a bit to say. Off some of those comments because I thought they were pretty freaking funny. People like, 
you could have avoided this. You should have known they were retreads. You should have checked the date on your tires before you drove the truck. Like it's just stuff that like people just don't do day to day and like they wouldn't know. Like if I bought this truck truck last week and I've never heard about retreads, you should have known they were retreads and you could have just bought new tires before your trip. Like it's just just hilarious stuff to me. That all being said, the truck is going to be getting new tires and wheels and stuff. That's all been in the plan. You guys know that. But it just doesn't always happen the first week. But this truck, in the meantime, is not really going to be driven much, especially with these tires. If I drive it, I'm going to put the old, fir the other first gen's tires on them, just because I know they're not retreads. Pretty much not going to be driven otherwise um, until we get this all put back together and you know different tires on it, even if it's just the other ones for now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Some of you guys might get a kick out of that. Like you should have known that was going to happen. Like. Okay, it's just funny. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Lots of stuff coming up. We've got some stuff coming up for Nasty Red. I'm pretty excited about telling you guys. Um, a few different things actually. We've got some other big things coming up, but also what we have right now is the ATV or $5,000 cash giveaway. Ends in 12 days. In 12 days, maybe 11 by the time you see the video, I don't know. The giveaway is over. It's done. I guess I can say this since you guys have no idea how many people were in the truck giveaway, but I posted on my Snapchat, I said this giveaway, compared to the truck giveaway, there's about 96% less entries than the truck giveaway. Can't give you a number. Um, but anyways, it wasn't like, it wasn't great. Like if you looked at my subscribers or even my Instagram followers, even my likes on an Instagram post, not even like it wasn't even close to that like not even close to even like the likes i get on instagram posts which is different for every post i'm just saying like giving you an idea of that range give or take which is a couple thousand up or down so it's not specific but i mean it's crazy how many less people that's why we're probably not going to be doing any more atv or cash give well cash giveaways maybe not pretty much no more atv giveaways at least not for a long long time it's, you guys just seem to not really be interested in them, which is totally fine. If you don't like something, you don't like something. I wouldn't feel obligated to enter something I didn't wasn't interested in either. This giveaway is going to be ending in about 12 days, but in the meantime, there's still there's, there's a huge opportunity there for $5,000, and um, you guys are definitely going to be making out on that giveaway if you guys get drawn. A link in the description to go to the store, check out the merch and stuff. There's a lot of options up there, but a lot of it's selling out, and I don't know if we're going to be restocking pretty much anything until it ends like I'm pretty sure like whatever's been up there since we started the giveaway um, We haven't had to restock anything because stuff's just really hasn't been moving for this giveaway pretty much Whatever's there is just it's just what's there. So um, anyways guys. Thank you so much link in description Every $25 you spend on merch gets you another entry closer to winning do not miss out on the opportunity. It's insane right now um, But thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace